Election drafts. Thank you, Mr Speaker. <clears throat> As has been said by honourable colleagues on this side of the bench, it is a well-known fact, and the public are not fooled, that most MPs in this place do not want to leave the EU in all positions in this place, which is a dishonourable stance to take after the EU referendum. Can my honourable friend tell the public and reassure them, reassure us, that we will honour this referendum and leave the EU with or without a deal on the 31st of October? I, I thank the Honourable Member for, for Dorset, and I can reassure uh, the people of Dorset and the United Kingdom that we will be leaving on the 31st of October. Our preference is to do so with a deal, but we're very much ready to leave with no deal. Anna Seabury. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I'm sure that, Mr Speaker, you may not have heard the use of the word that those of us who think that our country, our great country, has made a mistake are somehow dishonourable in doing nothing more than speaking out with the freedom that I thought was at the heart of our dis democracy. And I would have hoped the honourable gentleman might have withdrawn his comments. In any event, Mr Speaker, it's very odd that we're all being asked to support a deal, the details of which we know very little, unless, of course, our name was Arlene Foster. Can I ask the Minister this? The reason why we want to know about the detail of these custom arrangements and these structures and the infrastructure is because there are other countries, notably Norway and Sweden. Sweden, member of the single market, the customs union. Norway in the single market, but not the customs union, and they have a hard border. So can we have these unicorn details, please? Well, I must say, Mr Speaker, whilst reaching out across the floor, I have given up on reaching out to the Honourable Lady. Um, there are many people opposite. There is still hope for uh, people that will support a plan. But I suspect under no circumstances will she support a plan, regardless of what we produce and regardless of what it says. <laughs> that may well be true, but I hope the Right Honourable Lady, who is not too delicate a flower, can bear the almost unendurable pain of the criticism of the Minister with such stoicism and fortitude as she feels able in the circumstances to muster. 